fit of order. This is sorry of four. Did I have to talk about? I'm sorry, this is not three. So it must be four. Oh, okay, this is the Saras method. Can you talk about what is Saras method? Very important point here. What is Saras method here? This Saras method. Saras diagram. Sorry, Saras diagram. The we have a Saras diagram, how do we calculate this answer? Let me take this answer here. Okay, so this answer is 12. If I take the same answer, it is 12 answer. I have, I have taken it as determinant value of this is 12. Okay. I will just explain this with the help of SARS method. What is SARS method? Let me take here of order 3 here, but this is now 8th question. Question number 8, they have got SARS method, SARS diagram. With the help of SARS, with the help of SARS diagram. What is SARS diagram? Let me first explain that. What we say, we write the two columns, the first two columns again, okay, and then we multiply them, cross multiply. First, we write the two columns, one, first two columns. We write the first two columns, first two columns in succession of the three columns, succession of the three, in succession of the three columns, and then Then multiply the diagonal values. Okay, the leading diagonal values. The leading diagonal values with plus signs. Leading diagonal values with let me write here the plus sign leading diagonal value with plus sign and multiplying them and multiplying multiply the non diagonal non diagonal values or other diagonal values this is uh, other non diagonal values, non diagonal values with negative sign, with negative sign. What do you mean by this? Now, let me take this numerical value. Here it is 12 on top. This is determinant value B. Now, if I write here the first two columns, these two, the two. 4, 2, again 2, 5, and 3. These are written down. So what we do? Multiply this, this, and this. These are three main columns here. These are written with plus sign. And then we multiply with negative sign. This, 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 and this. With negative sign. Let me write the answer here. So in this case, what we are take that algebraically, but first let me take this numerical value. So we write here 2, 5, 0, 10. This is main diagonal. Sorry, first we write this diagonal values. So 2, 5, 10, 10, 10 to 40. 40 plus 2, 1, 0, 2, and 2 to the 4, plus 4. Plus 3 for the 12 plus here 36. Then minus sign. Now minus sign is this. I have to get 10. 10 3 is 30. Minus 30. Then this is 3 1 is 3 2 is 6. 3 2 is 6 only. Minus 6. 
and this is fourth puja, 16 to the 30, nine is 30, sorry, 30. This is fourth puja, 16, 16 puja, 30. This is the third non diagonal value. Main diagonals are these. This is how the answer is calculated. This is final answer will be calculated. So 30, let me just subtract them. Now, out of this, yeah, 40 minus 30, this is 40 minus 30 is 10 difference, positive value is this, and this is 36 minus 32 is plus 4, minus 6 and plus 4 is minus 2, this 4 and plus 4 and minus 6, all the value is minus 2, this is 40 minus 2 plus. Answer is 12 here. Same answer is this. This is how the value is there. Now let me write this in algebra form like this. What we do? We write a diagram. So, Sarus diagram. Sarus diagram is a writing. The two first two columns, the first two columns in succession of the given matrix or given columns. These are three columns here. These two columns are further written down. Succession of the given columns as follows. We do suppose this is A11, A21, A31. This is A12, A22, this one, A32. Now here it is A13, A23. A3, these are first two columns, we write down here, A11, A21, this is A31, this is A12, A22, A32. What we do now, we just multiply the diagonal value, this is main diagonal value, multiply them, then this diagonal value is also there, third diagonal is this. Only these are three diagonals are found. The three three values. Then we multiply them with the other diagonal values. This is first diagonal or uh, non-diagonal values. This is second. <coughs> and this is the third one only. Okay, so we write A11 A2 into A22 A33 plus sign here the bit plus sign here this is a32 a23 a11 this one plus sign this a33 a21 a12 now with minus sign three value for oh, what i'm doing First, I've written down these non diagonal values, these are all negative. I'm sorry. All these are the negative signs. First, I've written down these non diagonal values, these are negative. And all these diagonal values, main leading diagonal values, they are with positive signs. Let me write first them here. First is A11. What I've written? This is OK. A3, OK. These are taken wrong. Okay, so these let me write clear. First diagonal value I wrote down properly. This is A11, A22, A33. This diagonal value. Now this diagonal value plus sign A12, A into A23, into A31. And third diagonal value A13, into A21. This is A32. Now, these non diagonal values, this is the minus sign with minus sign now, A31, 
is 3 1 into A22 and A22 into A13. Then the second minus sign A32, A23 into A23 into A11 with minus sign the last value A33, A21, A12. This is what we calculate them, multiply them, then subtract them. So the answer will be the same as after taking numerical value. So this is what Sars method is. In Sars method, we write the first two columns in succession. Here, first column, second column. Then we multiply the main diagonal values, T3 diagonal values, the positive sign, and non diagonal values, then subtract them with negative sign. That will give us the same determinant value which we have just calculated. So this is what the process of SARS method is there, SARS diagram is there. So this SARS, SARS diagram is only for the uh, matrix of order 3, matrix, square matrix of order 3 only, not of 4 or other, only for matrix order of 3, we can apply the SARS diagrams. This SARS diagram is applied only for the determinants of a square matrix of order 3 only for ninth let me talk about what is the determinant value of a square matrix of order 4 that is question number 98 now let me talk about this question number 9 so determinant with the determinant of a square matrix of order 4 determinant of a square matrix of order 4 or more 4 or more 4 or more ok so this is ninth question what is the what is the determinant what is the determinant of a square matrix of order 4 let me first write 4 let me write first four order. That this is matrix, a square matrix of order four. A one one, A one two, A one three, A one four. This is A two one, A two two, A two three, A two four. A three one, A three two, A three three, A three four. A four one. E four two, E four three, E four four. Here, this is the fourth of order four. Did we write? We just write down with the help of the first determinant only. This is A one one. The answer is this. I am calculating here the determinant value. This is determinant A is equal to A one one into cofactor of this. This is A11 here, so this will be positive. So what we write here, then A22. A23 into A14. A21 remaining cofactor here. This is A32, A33, A34, A42, A43, A44. This is the land of order 4. Now again this value will be calculated by the same method that we just calculated there. Then this, this is negative because 1 plus 2 is negative. So this is A12. Again determinant of the remaining determinant value. This is A21, this is A21, A23, A24. This is A31. Now this second is not computed. This is A33. A34. The remaining is this A41, A43, A44. Then this one plus now this is A13 positive value and uh, cofactor of this is this is positive here cofactor. Of this column not considered, this row is not considered. It will be A21, A22, A24. A three one, 
a three two and last one a three four then it's a four one a four two and this is a four four okay then minus sign because this is negative one plus four is five this is negative so this is a one four now determine the value of remaining these values this is a two one a two two a two three then a three one a three two a three three then a four one a four two a four three okay so these are the again these values will be calculated by multiplying by this a two one into this minus this same value so this is the process of finding out the determinant of a matrix of order four equal matrix of order four Again, this will be calculated by considering this a a one one into a two two into this four plus two. Again, this will multiply to this uh, a one two into this a two one into multiply. Okay, this will be calculated by in three matrices because this value is to be calculated with the help of by expanding this with the first row, the help of first row. So the help of first row, we have to expand this. Okay. This first row will have three elements. This is in, written as in three terms here. This is how we calculate this value. Okay. So this is this is not a simple value. We have to expand this uh, determinant of order three in, in with respect to the first order or first row values. This a two two. This a two three again written down. The negative sign. This will be written then this a three two a three four a four three a four four multiplying them got my m factor two so three values will be further multiplied here then a minus a one two and then with respect to the first row values we have to expand this further so there are three steps further then a one three is multiplied okay the same with three steps here three steps here so this is the process standard process I'll take this. With the numerical question, that will be clear. Okay, so let me take a numerical question here. If I take a numerical value of order four, similar is the process with other determinants. Okay, so let me take the square matrix of order four numerical value. If solution we are calculating, if a let me take a is a matrix of order three four. Five six. This is three, one two four. Okay, let me take two four three one. One two three four. This is a square matrix of order four. No problem. Then we have to calculate. First is three into this. The whole determinant is. Written down this is one two four four three one which is two three four. Second is minus sign because four is lying in the first row and second column. So four into four factor of this. This four factor is three two four and this is two here. And this four not complete or this is three one one. Then plus five, alternative positive negative, positive negative positive. This is five into positive be positive here. This line the first row and third column. So five into this is three one. Okay, and this is four here. And this is two four one one two four. Okay, then minus sign six into. Three one two two four three one two three one two three one two three. This is again six here. Okay, so first let me calculate this first value. Okay, so this will give us one into three into four. 
with positive sign. Okay, this is in three step here. This is not a simpler one. Now let me take the first step here. This is two input. Okay, so let me take this here. First one input. Three four just twelve minus three one just three. Then minus two here. This is in first four second column. Two into will be four for the sixteen minus two into two plus four into this four into four to the plus minus six. This is the first value. Then minus four. So this is the three into three for the plus minus three. This three into three for the plus minus three. Minus sign is two into two into four to the eight minus one one the one. Then this four plus four. This is three to the six minus three. Three to the six minus three. This is with four here. Now this five. This is with plus five. Three into four to the sixteen minus two minus one one into four to the eight. This is four to the eight minus one. Okay, then plus four into four into two to the four minus four. This is zero. Okay, this is the third one. Now this is minus six. Minus six here. This is three into. Four to the twelve minus six. Then this minus one into here. Have I done it correctly? Yeah, this is four into. All right, it's okay. Three for the twelve minus three. All right, all right, all right. Then this is uh, six into this last one. Six into three into this. Or uh, one into minus one into. Six minus three. Six minus three. Then two. This plus sign is two. Two here is two to the four minus three. This is also four minus three. Zero. In case of five also, this is four into four minus four. Okay, no problem. So now let me try the final answer. The final answer of this video. Let me write here. So the determinant value finally is this whole. This is two into twelve minus three is nine. This is nine minus sixteen minus two is fourteen to the twenty-eight. Okay, plus six twelve minus six is six. Six into four twenty-four. This is first value. Second is minus four into. Twelve minus three nine to the nine here to the seven. Then minus minus sign. It is two into seven forty. Then plus four into six. Four into three sorry. Twelve. This is twelve. Or six minus three three. Three four the twelve. This is twelve here. Then five plus five into twelve. Sixteen minus two. Fourteen, fourteen into three, forty-two. Minus seven. Plus eight minus one is seven into minus four. Minus seven plus zero. This is zero only for zero. Minus six. Twelve minus six is six. Six three the eighteen. Okay, minus sign. Three only. Six minus three into one. Six okay, three plus two into. Two into zero, that is zero here. Okay, so final answer is this subtraction. Let me now subtract this one. Therefore, final answer of this will give us. Okay, this is what cofactors. We have to multiply the numerical values with their cofactors. If it is of order three, order three, we further calculate that with the help of the same. And we calculated in case of order three. Okay, so same process is applied here. One answer is 
twice into this 9 plus 24, this is minus 4, 9 minus 4 is 5, 5 into 2 is 10, minus 4 into this, this is minus 2, minus 14 plus 12 is minus 2, 27 minus 2 is 25, this is 25, plus 5 into 42 minus 7, so this is, uh, okay, 2 and 5, 35, it is 35 here. Minus 6 into this 18 minus 3 is 15, 15 into 6 is equal to 6, 10 minus 100, 24, 4, 25, 4 is 100, this is plus 5, 5 is 35, 3, 35 is 25, plus 2 carry, 5 to 15 into 17 is 75, minus 15 is 90. Okay, so this is 30, 0, 3, 6, 0, 6, 90. Okay, so this is a negative value and positive value. What is negative value? 190 negative. The positive is 10 plus 1, 185. Minus 190. Minus 5 is the answer. So minus 100. Minus 90. This is minus 180. Minus 195. And this is 175 plus 10, 185. 185 minus 190 minus 5 is the answer. Therefore, this is determined the value of order 4. Similar case is applied for order more than 4. Okay. We write the numeric value in the first row, multiply them with the help of cofactors, cofactors multiplication. Then order 3, we process in the same way as of order 4 if it is there, and we, can, we divide them into of order 3, 3, 3. Then divide into order 3, 2, 2, cofactors, and then find value is calculated in case of order 2. So, sub multiplication, subtraction, and okay, putting the first diagonal value, then minus non diagonal value multiplied in case of the square matrix. So, finally, we have reach of two square matrix. Okay, square, sorry, square matrix of order 2. Of order 2, if we have reached, then the value is calculated easily. Of whatever the higher order, so there. The square matrix of higher orders, more and more, we convert them into, or we divide, or we simplify them up to the square matrix or the square determinant of order two. Then we multiply them. Finally, the answer is calculated. This is the process. The same process is applied for matrix square matrices of order more than four. Okay. Then process. What is the Kramer's rule? This is the eleventh question we are dealing with. So now let me talk about. What is Kramer's rule? Now, Kramer was a Swiss mathematician, and I declared initially question number 10 here. So what is question number 12? Then, Kramer's rule we will apply to solve the questions. This I will take separately, and I discovered who was Kramer. Okay, so Kramer was a Swiss mathematician. About his uh, background, I will talk about in, and then I will take this separately. So, something three questions they have got. Grammar suit. We have to solve it grammar suit. So apply the grammar suit and then solve the different kinds of common equations in regressive mostly. So that I'll take separately, then it is clear and it will be very clear. Okay, so but at the moment I have just defined that one is a grammar suit in case of linear equation for this kind. Okay, so this is question number 10 here. Yeah. What is the grammar suit? So this is a grammar suit. Kramer's rule, it is applied, it is applied to solve the simultaneous equations, the linear simultaneous, simultaneous linear equations to find Values of the variables, unknown variables or variables, with the help of determinants. What is determinant here? In this case, with the help of with the help of determinant. 
the help of determinant. Okay. What is the determinant here? For example, there are three values. If the equation, if the if the equations that we write here, the variables are three. If the variables are three, x, y, and z, then how the values are calculated? If linear equations are given, for example, if this is, let me take a x plus b by, or this is a one b one c one c one into z equal to b one. This is a two x plus b two by plus c two z equal to b. This is a three x plus b three by plus c three z equal to b three. There are three equations here, linear equations. This is first equation, second equation, and third equation. Then what is the value of x by z? In this case, we calculate x equal to determinant d1 upon d2. What is d1, d2? For d1 and d, I'll just calculate, and y is going to be d2 upon d. Z equal to d3 upon d4. Here, d is the determinant value of these coefficients. Here. We are explaining what is camera so solution. Here, t is the determinant value. Determinant value of the writing the coefficients of x by z. Determinant value, determinant value of the matrix of coefficients. The matrix of the square matrix it will be of order three of the matrix of the coefficients here. Matrix of the coefficients. Matrix of the coefficients of the variables. Coefficient of the variables. For example, here. The coefficients a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, b2, a3, b3, c. You know coefficients of x, y, z. You will write here d is equal to d of four. D is the determinant value or d let me write here. This is d. Let me write d in common or simply write d one. Here d is the determinant value. 